everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now when I tell you I've been waiting to do this video for literally months, I am not over exaggerating and I swear to god I exaggerate about a lot of things, but this, no. Also my shirt is super wrinkly, my iron broke literally five minutes before filming this video, so great! So if y'all know anything about me, you know that I love a lot of artists, but I adore very few artists. Now, the artists that I love, endless. And then the artist that I adore list is much smaller. And one of those artists I adore is Rina Sawayama. Now, I adore this bitch. I love her so, so much. She is so, oh my god, like, godly talented. And to prove to you how much I love this album, I've been wanting to do this video for literally months because the first time I listened to this album, loved it. Second time, loved it. Like, it is my most played album of this year. You wanna know why? Because it's excellence. So I told myself I wasn't gonna allow myself to listen to the album for a few weeks, and I would film this video and kinda revisit the album. To show you how much I love Rina Sawayama, here we have the album we will be reviewing and reacting to, called Sawayama, literally, mwah, love, love her. Now I have to share something a little bit more sad, so, I was super excited because Rena was finally doing signed posters on her site. As you all know, I had to give my guinea pigs away because I was allergic. But whenever I was in the process of transporting them out to the car, they were in a little cage in my room. One of them escaped and fucking did this to my Rena Sawayama signed poster. I literally cried about this. <laughs> Look what they did. Are you fucking kidding me? So yeah, I'm super upset about this. So just a signature, like I literally had this. In all my videos right here, like if you watch my channel, you know I've been putting this in the background of every video. Just because I love Rena so much, so this is really sad. So Rena, if you're watching this, literally bitch, give me your PayPal. I'll PayPal you so much money for another one of these. Please, Rena, I'm literally begging you, please. You don't sell them anymore, but please, girl, look what my guinea pig did. This is not fair, please. Girl, anything you want, tell me. <laughs> Okay, aside from that, let's listen to the music. Now, a lot of my subscribers do not know who Rina Sawayama is, so we're gonna go on this journey together, and I just want you to see my reaction, because, oh lord, I love this album, and I love this album so much that I play it so much, and now my mom listens to it. That's how you know you've made a bomb-ass album. Rina, me and my mom listened to Chosen Family and Sob together, so... And Chosen Family is also me and my best friend Asia's Chosen Sob. So before we crack into the album, let's crack into a Red Bull. Ooh, that was so smooth. This is so wild, because I haven't done a video standing up in a while. It's like I'm exercising. Y'all, I'm super excited. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the Red Bull chills. So I'm going to be playing this off my speakers on my PC, so these can get pretty bassy. <laughs> so I have to turn my bass down a little bit, just so my neighbors wouldn't complain. But let's get in. The first song is called Dynasty. This theatrical opening, bitch. Build up, build up, build up. The vocals. Rina. I will catch you, bitch. I will catch you. Saving. I feel like I'm in space with this album. What happened to Mariah? Why is she all crumpled? Mariah. Oh, I'm a dynasty. This is so chaotic. Mariah, stay up. It's not even Mariah's moment. I fucking love this song. Such a good opener. Hey. So good, Rina. I'm gonna take the. I feel like I'm doing a theater show. Pain in my face, it's hereditary. Running in my bloodstream, my bloodstream. This looks so good. Mother, father, you can't. Oh my god, my hair's gonna expand so much. Oh my god, I look horrible. Rina, I'm so sorry. Mariah's trying to take your moment. Oh, so good! The vocals, Rina! Rina, the vocals! I know you- Listen. Mariah? Something's not working here. Fucking time out. You know what? Looks like we're filming the video over here! We're not even one song in. Rina, these harmonies and shit. It's just the texture of the song. Dinah? Ooh, you know what sounds expensive? The next song is called XS. Come on, bitch. It's these dramatic ass intros and then wait, wait, wait. Hey, oh, so good. But the hard ones, what it wants. Ooh, instrumental and production is. Y'all ready to do the TikTok dance? I'm really bad at it. Wait, is this it? Oh me, oh my, I don't wanna hear no more. Only one, yes, yes. Oh me, oh my, give me just a little bit. X, X. Wait, did I know it? Oh me, oh 
Okay, maybe I don't. <laughs> Everything about her music just sounds fantastic. Just well done, like mwah. This is a flex song, but like making fun of flex songs. Queen shit. I don't wanna hear no more. Oh my god, yes, yes. See, it just sounds so rich. I feel like I've just been given a hundred thousand pound in my bank account while listening to this song. Yeah, doom, 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 doom. Rena, your vocals here, they're so good. Did y'all hear her vocals in this outro? Queen, queen, queen shit. Dun, 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 dun. The next song is called Politely STFU. Something about these instrumentals and then the yeah. <laughs> I also love this girl's lyrics and her use of them. They're so good. This song has so many different parts too, which I adore. How do you? This song just hits death. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Rain, I love you for this song. I love this part. Big mouth shut, cause I have many times. What? Many times. Boom. Her voice has so many different levels in this. And her use of it is so beautiful throughout. You know what we call that? Artistry. Talentry. See when you do talentry, bitch. Have you ever thought about taping your big mouth shut? Cause I have many times. No one talks enough about her vocals on this track. Ooh, come on, Rina. Ooh. Next is Comme des Garçons. I love this song so fucking much. I always vote to it. Sorry for being cringy. Ooh. Rena, if you're watching, I'm serious about my poster. Please, I love this so much. Please, I'm so disappointed and sad about this. I know it's not your fault, but just <laughs> please. This song is such a vibe. One, two, con des garçons. Like the boys, like the boys. I'm so confident. Me singing, I'm so confident whenever I'm not. I'm like, I'm so confident. <laughs> this part. Come go incognito. I'm just singing her accent. Don't fuck with me, ho. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love this song. I adore this. And these lyrics as well, Rina. Well done. Everything about this album is mwah. Cause what? Conde Gasol. Her little background vocals are so cute. So confident. I'm so confident. <laughs> me lying to myself. <laughs> Next is Akasaka Sad. This song is. A masterpiece. Oh, it's so good. And just the way the production hits on this song. Hits Def. Hits Def, yo. <laughs> when me and Rena do a duet. You make me a kasaka saka. Oh, it's so good. Okay, but the best part of the entire song is coming up now. Wait. Oh. Her vocals on this album are literally phenomenal. And she's improved so much from her EP. Like, and it's the build up and everything. No song disappoints. The fucking production is so top tier. Who produced this album? Next we have Paradise, another song is so cute. It has such a 90s, 80s feel. And it's so retro and I fucking love that about it. And it has so many different phases throughout it. I love these cute ass intros, Rena. Thank you for them. Oh, it's so cute. And then we like video game noises. The lyrics in this song. Sisnapped. Again, the production. I hate to repeat myself, but it's just phenomenal. One, two, one, two, three, let's go. Hey. Imagine this live. Uh. Let me have an unforgettable time of my life. Her first kiss in 2003 and I was born a year before. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's beyond gorgeous. And then it slows down a bit. And then, speeds up again. See, the songs have just so many different layers. Wonderful. The next song is called Love Me For Me. Now this song is just so cute. It also sounds rich as fuck. I get Janet Jackson vibes from this song, honestly. Velvet Rope album, anyone? Velvet Rope by Janet Jackson is so top tier. This song's definitely so chill. Hey, oh, it's so good. You wanna love me for me? Ooh. It makes me so happy. This album, I really go on a journey, and that's what I fucking love about albums. 
That's why a cohesive body of work is so important. Oh, this instrumental. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. It goes, hey, it's so good. You wanna love me for me. Next is Bad Friend. My Bad Friend hits deep. Oh, Farina, thank you for this song. Like, thank you so much for Bad Friend. Bad Friend means so much to me. I love this. This album is just so gorgeous. Everything about it, look at this. Gorgeous. I would show you my poster, but it's shoot up by my guinea pig. Not happy about that. This is definitely a riff down on the card moment. We were best friends forever, but the truth is... Oh my god, and the little effects on it, like, I don't know what that's called, but the effects on this part is one of my favorite things you can ever do in a song. I'm a bad, I'm a bad friend, so don't ask me where I've been. <laughs> I love this song. It's just so chill. Wait, and then it goes like this, which I love. I'm a bad friend. It's more chill instead of like a big drop, and I adore that about this song because it's so, it's like a really humble song, and I, oh, I love it. Because we fell out, what was that all about? I'm so good at, oh, and then the best part of the song, listen. I literally, when I listen to this with my earphones in, I sob every time. Oh, so gorgeous. It's really moving. It's such a moving song. Put your hands up if you're like, oh, I love this song. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love it. Look how she brings it back then. Look. Ooh, see, that's, that's what you do whenever you're talented. That's artistry. And then the background vocals here. Every, oh. See, when you want this song to not end, it doesn't. It keeps going off that little bit longer, and I appreciate that. And her vocals here, come on, Belt. I need to see a song live. Okay, the next song is called F This World Interlude. This is also beautiful. Girl, how is this an interlude when it's nearly three minutes? <laughs> Either way, I fucking love it. See, it just brings you somewhere else with the instrumentals. It's so good. And then it goes sometimes. Oh, I love it. The way she has her vocals controlled in the song is top tier. Fuck this world, I'm leaving you. Fuck this world, I'm leaving you. Oh, it's so good, Rena. And then her lyrics now. Wait. Oh, it's so beautiful, Rena. And the harmonies and layers. And then this part with going through the different stations in the radio, everything is top tier, it's beautiful. Next we have Who's Gonna Save You Now. This song is quite edgy. It's my favorite part here though. Cause she's like spitting, you know, she's spitting. Who's gonna save you now? Not me, bitch. Not Rena. <laughs> I wish you oh. oh the vocals! Fuck! I literally get chills because of her vocals in the song. I can. And then it goes. Rena! Who's gonna save you? Oh! <laughs> I forgot she went off that much. Save you, save you. Oh. Oh. The fucking vocals. Oh. Who's gonna save you now? Not me, not Rena. Fuck you, bitch. Next we have Tokyo Love Hotel. Now this song is incredible, but I'm calling every song incredible. I need to come up with more adjectives. The intro of this song is so nostalgic. Her voice is very cute in this song, I will say. It's just another song about Tokyo. Check to the Tokyo Love Hotel. Oh, it's so nostalgic. I love nostalgic music. That's one thing Rena masters. Also, her vocal layering here is top tier. Top, top tier. Come on, vocals. Now we have Chosen Family. Now, Chosen Family is my favorite song on this entire album because it was just that song I connected with at the start. And so me and my best friend Asia, as I said, this is our song. I would send her videos of me singing this every single day. And this is not me and my mom's song as well. So. Rena, thank you for the song. There's no other song like this, in my opinion, as good and done as well as this. So I love a song. I'm just gonna vibe for a moment. I love this song. We don't need to be related to relate. We don't need to share dreams or a surname. You are, you are my chosen, chosen. I fucking adore this song. Everything about it is beautiful. No one gives this song the praise it fucking deserves. And that pisses me off. Very much so. And then she brings it down and she goes, Chosen family. Oh, and then brings it up. And then she's building it up. She's building it up. And she does not disappoint when she gets to that. Just wait. My chosen. Oh, it's so good. 
we've been going through the same thing, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Rena, I love this. Then she goes, brings it up again. Uh, oh my god, we're in the final song already. So the final song is called Snakeskin. So yes, final song. I fucking adore this album so much. Oh my god, we've listened to 13 songs together. Well done, team. This song is so haunting, and the way it goes... I'm not a good singer, sorry. I'm trying to like... <laughs> Try and then it's building up, it's building up. One, two, one, two, three, let's go. Are y'all ready for her to start spinning? Oh, Rena, handle lyrics. Girl, the lyrics. Well done. Oh, this this song is theatrical, this song is cinematic, this song is beautiful, challenging, show stopping, never the same, never been done before. And then she goes, wait, one, two, three, let's go. Like a snake skin, what? Like a snake skin. What? <laughs> I'm like talking to the audience. Y'all ready for the breakdown? I don't think y'all ready. Let's go. Ooh, it's the production. Oh my god. She said, y'all want some more? She was gonna give some. Take it to my snake skin. Why did I bark? This is such a haunting outro as well, and I adore it. I can't. This album is phenomenal. I like everything about it. Oh my god, guys. My appearance at the end of this video is not as nice as it was at the start of this video. I am sweating. <laughs> And I definitely gave myself whiplash. <laughs> so guys, that was us listening to Sawayama by Rina Sawayama. This album is phenomenal. You have to, have to, have to go stream, buy everything. Also, Rina, <laughs> my best friend Asia bought me a Sawayama crew neck and we ordered it like two months ago and it still hasn't arrived. <laughs> but we still fuck with you. <laughs> also, girl, literally give me your PayPal. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay guys, tell me what you thought of this album. If this is your first time listening to it, make sure to tell me what song has been your favorite. My favorites are Chosen Family, Bad Friend, Who's Gonna Save You Now? Oh my God, I'm about to read off every single song. You know what, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I love you and I'll see you in my next video. And if you have any albums you want me to listen to, make sure to tell me below. I thought it might be fun every once in a while to listen to an album. So I love you, make sure to support Rena. She's a bad bitch. An incredibly talented bad bitch. Peace out.